Hello, you there, Alex? All right, awesome. There's uh, about a minute left. Hello and welcome on 89 won the bass here for the playoffs. We're here with the tw Region 24 tournament as your Wabash Valley Warriors will be taking on the Shawnee Saints. Teams have played twice already this season, once at the Spencer Sports Center and once on the road at Shawnee, and they split it. Wabash Valley went home, Shawnee won when they were at home. Here we have the rubber match on a neutral site here at Renly College, the home of the Region 24 tournament. A good tournament going on already so far in the game just beforehand. Uh, before this one, Southwestern Illinois knocked off the two seed OCC Blue Knights. That was kind of a shocker and they won it pretty handily. So, Southwestern Illinois will be who faces off against the winner of this matchup. So, for Wabash Valley, the road to the championship game runs through two teams that they've already beaten at least once this year in Shawnee and Southwestern Illinois. But, Got to face each battle right in front of you. And tonight, it is Shawnee, Wabash Valley, the six seed. Shawnee, the three seed. So Wabash Valley will be in the road unis. The black with red trim. Shawnee in whites with red lettering and white numbers. Kaleem Taylor, Daniel Robinson, Adrian Sprinkles, Brandon Razormore, and Raymond Aziki, the starters for your Wabash Valley Warriors in this one, facing off against Shawnee. Wabash Valley had a rough end of the season where they faced some really tough competition, including OCC. They lost in their last game of the regular season. OCC had a terrific season, but they got knocked off by Swick just earlier on this evening. That's a big knockout of the tournament for any team trying to make it to the end. For, uh, for Shawnee, excuse me, they will have Ladrykus Pittman they're starting point guard. He's really good. A smaller guy, but he's a really good scorer. 38.5% from three this season. Or 34% from three, 38% overall. So really, the majority of the scoring going to come from the three ball. Good facilitator as well. Their leading scorer, Shawnee's leading scorer, that is, is Johnny Anderson, the big man. He can do it all, really. He can score inside. He's got some size. He can shoot it a little bit, 31.3% on the season. They've also got Israel Welton out there, just 2.5 a game, and he's asked to do some other things for them. And they also got Trayvon Thomas out there, 8.4 a game. He's really efficient from the field and from three. So it'll be a tough test for Wabash Valley, a team that they've seen twice. It's, you know, really kind of, anytime you play a team for the third time in the season, you kind of just have to throw everything else out. So we'll see who's going to win on the neutral site. The rubber match of this one, as I mentioned, it'll be Ezekiel Robinson, Sprinkles, Taylor, and Razor Moore for Wabash Valley. They'll be moving left to right in the first half. Shawnee moving right to left. We're about to tip off here. Wabash Valley's first action of the Region 24 tournament. It'll be Lemon tipping off against Ezekiel, and Lemon wins it. Ends up out of bounds. It's going to stay with Shawnee, Shawnee here. So Shawnee tipped it up, it ended up out of bounds, but it stays with Shawnee, and that's how we get underway here. They'll start with the basketball moving right to left. Wabash Valley coming out in a man defense. Up south, Pittman swings right side. And that is Thomas with it, swing to the top. Anderson back left to Pittman. Pittman looking down low, nothing there, swings it back up top. Right side now with it is Thomas, letting things develop. 12 on the shot clock, left side Pittman. Cuts into the paint area at the free throw line. 
Ball knocked away. Taylor comes away with it for Wabash Valley. Kaleem Taylor on the fast break will slow it down. Didn't have numbers. He'll hand back to the point guard, Robinson. Just underway here at Ren Lake College. Region 24 tournament. Wabash Valley left to right with the ball. The pie on the right side. Robinson drives and hands off to Sprinkles. Sprinkles all the way around. Hand off to Taylor on the left wing. 12 on the shot clock. Now 10. Sprinkles make that Taylor around the screen. Kicks. Sprinkles in the left corner. Jabbing now down to Ezekiel at the left block. One dribble. Turn around. Hook shot. Off the bank and in. Aziki, the 6'8 big man from New Jersey, on the board. And Wabash Valley starts off with a 2 0 lead. Anderson will swing left side. That is Welton with it on the left wing. He'll swing it up to Pittman. Shawnee slowing it down now. Pittman directing traffic, calls out the play. Robinson all over him now. Pittman drives around the screen from Lemon. Almost lost the ball, has it. Picked up the dribble, swings right into the right corner. Driving is Thomas. He'll kick it to the free throw line. That's Lemon. Gets it stripped away. Ball on the floor. Ezekiel dives on it. Taylor comes away with it. Wabash Valley a couple turnovers early here. Cashed in on the first one. Taylor to the free throw line. Pull up jumper. Well, short just barely grazed the rim. Rebound to Pittman. Pittman the other way. Wabash Valley with a 2 0 lead. Anderson swings right side. Driving is Thomas. He'll hand off and up and in off the glass is the big man, Miles Lemon. Lemon, 6.7 points a game. He shoots it at 61.3% from the field. That is elite efficiency. He's a big guy. He's going to take those easy ones down at the block. Sprinkles on the left wing. Has a screen. Spinning around. Still on the screen from Mizuki. Now he'll go right around it. Kicks to Robinson. The left wing. Deep. Three ball. Off left. Rebound to Lemon. Tied up at two apiece here. 17.45. Left in the first half. Pittman bringing it up right to left. The Shawnee Saints, the three seed here in the Region 24 tournament. Pittman on the left wing gets it knocked away by Ezekiel into the hands of Robinson. Robinson, one on one with Anderson, goes up and lays it in over the bigger Johnny Anderson. Robinson, no fear as a slasher. Scores that one for Wabash Valley, gets him a two point lead back, 42. Defense, defense, defense early on for both teams. Just six points total here in the first couple of minutes. Left side with it is Welton. They'll swing up top, now right side. Pittman will take the three ball from the right wing. Nether Mcnett told you that he was a good shooter in the open. He got that three ball, made it look easy. Gives Shawnee a one point lead now. Taylor on the right wing around the screen from Ezekiel. Drives baseline, kicks Robinson in the left corner. He'll kick it. Sprinkles, top of the key, three ball. Money. Adrian Sprinkles with the three ball answer. Sprinkles can be a kind of a streaky shooter from three, but when he's on from there, it almost always goes in, it seems like. That's a good start for him today. On the right side, Israel Welton swings up top to Anderson. Anderson left side to Pittman. Pittman now on the dribble on the left wing. Robinson on him. 13 on the shot clock. Pittman to the top. Picks up his dribble. Spins around. Swings left. That's Thomas. Sprinkles cuts him off. Back to Pittman. Way downtown. Three ball. Left it short off the front of the rim. And Taylor to the board. And a blocking foul. Get him on Thomas. Tried to cut him off. Taylor. Welcome the contact. Knew that he was probably going to get a foul on Thomas there, and that's exactly what happened. Wabash Valley up 7-5 here in the early going. 16-21 left in the first half. Going to have some subs here for each side. Cash Henderson is going to check in. Robinson to the bench. McGowan also checks in for the Warriors. Got to put Ziki on the bench. Marr in for Shawnee, as is Keyshawn Washington. Washington, a small guy, but another really good shooter from three. Taylor on the drive, hands off to Razor Moore, just checked in, step back three, top of the key. Too strong off the back iron, flying in for the board momentarily. It was Anderson, but it got taken away by Lucas Henderson. He'll hand off to Taylor, picked up the dribble, directing traffic, gets it to McGowan up top. McGowan swings left side, 13 on the shot clock, sprinkles with it. Javin now on the dribble, crosses over around the screen. Under 10 on the shot clock, sprinkles kicks to Taylor on the right wing. He'll cut to the paint, pulls up from the free throw line, and it rolls in. Got the shooter's roll that time. Wabash Valley going hard on offense early on. Kaleem Taylor scores that one via the mid-range. 9-5. They've got the lead. Right side, Marr with it. Marr gets the screen. Goes left around it. Now crosses back over right. Cuts in the paint to the right block. High up off the glass. No good. Rebound for Razor Moore. Wabash Valley the other way. Kicks left side to Taylor. Taylor working against Anderson. Cuts in. Hops into the paint. Kicks Anderson. Sidestep three from the right corner. A little strong. McGowan, the offensive board, now gets ripped away. Ball on the floor, out of bounds. Last touch by McGowan. So Shawnee gets the ball back here. Now checking in for them. That's going to be Jermel Grigsby. 
Shawnee with the deep rotation, try to keep guys fresh. Keyshawn Washington will bring up the court. Smallest guy on the court, but he scores 7.4 game on 45.5% from three. Got the ball knocked out of bounds by Lucas Henderson. Stays with Shawnee. 9-5, your Warriors lead 15-12. Here in the first half left. Washington will inbound from the sideline. Henderson on him. Gets it up to Anderson. Top he'll swing right side to Marr. Marr to Pittman on the left. Kicks down. Grigsby at the right block off the glass and in. Miscommunication defensively there from Wabash Valley and an easy basket for Jamel Grigsby. Taylor brings it up for Coach McGee and Wabash Valley on the right side. Has a screen from McGowan. He'll go left around it. Kicks the sprinkles. Now he'll hand off to Razor Moore on the left wing. Razor Moore crossing over. Cuts in the paint towards the left block. Spinning around. Fade away. Jump shot. He got it. Razor Moore. Such a great jump shooter. Got it on the fade away that time. Increases the lead to 11 to 7. Anderson quickly driving to the left block. He's fouled. That's going to be on Colleen Taylor. He knows it. Pointing to his chest. Taking accountability for that one. So that will send Johnny Anderson to the line. Anderson is 77.1% free throw shooter on the season. I mentioned in the open, he is Shawnee's leading scorer. Left-handed shooter. First free throw up. Nothing but net. Anderson, a big guy. He's got size. Can shoot it. Dribble it a little bit, too. A valuable piece. No wonder he can score so well. Back to the line for a second free throw. And that one around the world and falls out. Taylor the other way for Wabash Valley. And throws that one right into the wall towards the scoreboard. It just kind of rolled off his hand the wrong way. He's trying to kick it to the left corner and uh, slipped out of his hand. So a turnover that time. And now Taylor will go to the bench. Daniel Robinson checks back in. So it's Robinson, McGowan, Razor Moore, Sprinkles, and Henderson in the game for Wabash Valley. Washington running the point for Shawnee, guarded by Henderson. Drives to the right on the right wing, steps back, hands off to Grigsby. Grigsby one, takes one dribble and swings left. They drive his Pittman with it. Pittman to the top with Marr. Marr trying to work against Razor Moore, not on the shot clock. Marr cuts in, spins around at the left, block, fade away, shot short off the front of the rim. McGowan, the board, hands off to Sprinkles. He'll bring it up on the right side. A.D. Sprinkles, crossing over. Pulls up for three. That one's way off left. Couldn't even hit the rim. Pittman the other way for Shawnee. And he'll swing. Marr driving in the paint. Lost the ball. Sprinkles takes it away. Sprinkles up to McGowan. One on one. To the right block. Throws it up off the glass and in. McGowan on the board for Wabash Valley. Monty got away with a shuffle of the feet there. Warriors lead 13-8, 13-26. Left here in the first half. Offense has been good early on. Pittman with the left side, swings up top. That's Grigsby. Back left to Washington this time. The left wing guarded by Henderson. He'll swing it up top to Anderson. Henderson drives. Now he'll cut in, spins around, back and down. Fade away, shot with the left hand, off right. Marr, the offensive board, put back off the glass and falls for Osiris Marr. 7.8 a game. Or excuse me, 8.8 a game. Razor Moore on the left wing will kick to McGowan up top. He'll swing right side. Sprinkles with it. Hasn't taken a dribble yet. Now he'll hand off to Henderson. Henderson. Spins at the right elbow, spin around, throws up a shot off left, and the rebound to Pittman. He'll try to go the other way. Gets past Sprinkles, free throw line, right block, shot is blocked, and then a foul with the body. So Pittman go to the line, foul's going to be on Daniel Robinson. Colleen Taylor going to check back in after the media timeout. Wabash Valley up 13-10 in the early goings. 12-40 left here in the first half. We'll be back in one minute.
Chris has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Zach Reynolds here with you on 89 on the Bash at Ren Lake College for the Region 24 Tournament. Wabash Valley leads 13-10 over Shawnee with 12.40 left in the first half. Ten different people have scored in this ball game. Six for Wabash Valley, four for Shawnee. Nobody has scored twice so far. The love is being shared by both sides. Coming out of the media timeout out the free throw line, it's going to be Ledrykas Pittman, who had a three ball earlier on. Only three so far for Shawnee. He's at the line. He got fouled going into the media timeout. Pittman is 77.6% free throw shooter this season. First shot up. Missed it short off the front of the rim. Out of the timeout, Razor Moore sprinkles Ezekiel Taylor and Robinson in the game for Wabash Valley. Anderson, Thomas, Pittman, Washington, and Maher in the game for Shawnee, and Pittman hit the second free throw that time, makes it 13 to 11. Now full court pressure from Shawnee. Taylor with it. Up high on the left side, he'll cross the timeline. Here comes the trap. Ball gets knocked away, out of bounds. They say last touched by Taylor. He is not happy about that. Neither is Coach Terrence McGee. So turnover caused by the full court pressure from Shawnee, and they've got a chance to tie it up with the two. They'll take the lead with the three. Washington will run the point. Swings left side to Pittman. Pittman working against Robinson. will kick it up top with Anderson. Anderson drives towards the right, fake the hand off, and now passes it off to Marr. Marr on the drive. Reverse layup rejected by Aziki. Into the hands of Sprinkles the other way. Sprinkles to Razor Moore to the left block. He will lay it in. Wabash Valley defense leading the offense that time. It's 15 to 11, 12 minutes left in the first half. Washington over the logo, drives to the right, guarded by Sprinkles, almost lost it, he's still got it. Washington crossing over, kicks to the Pittman at the free throw line, he'll step it back out to the top of the key. 12 on the shot clock, Pittman calls out a play, now 10 on the clock. Pittman gets it knocked away, Robinson picks his pocket one-on-one, -on -one. now he'll wait, hands off to Ezekiel, and he is hacked by Pittman. He's going to be on the floor, he hacked him before he even got a shot off. You know, uh, you could say a lot of things about that foul, but one of them is smart. Pittman avoided letting Ezekiel get an easy foul, or an easy basket, excuse me. And he actually avoided it before the shot anyway, so Wabash Valley don't even get free throws. McGowan's going to check in for Wabash Valley. Ezekiel to the bench. Jonathan Brantner also checked in for Shawnee there. Colleen Taylor will be on the trigger underneath his own basket just to the left. And now we're going to have an issue here, possibly with Welton not checking in. Now he will be officially checked into the game, checked back in. Referees having a discussion here. Right now, Wabash Valley leads 15 to 11, 11.40 left here in the first half. The offense has been good and a couple of turnovers as well. Now Taylor on the trigger. Needs help, looking. Throws this one up to Sprinkles at the logo. Now they'll run some offense. Sprinkles swings the left side. Robinson has a screen from McGowan. He'll go right around it. Now finds McGowan on the row. Here comes a double team. McGowan on the dribble. Finds Sprinkles at the baseline. Spins around, lays it up off the glass and in. Got position on Welton and scored it. And now something else went on here. So Sprinkles scored it. Now Henderson will check in. Sprinkles with five points now. A basket for you. Three point and two point. Gives Wabash Valley a 17 to 11 lead. Trying to build that. Washington up top. Goes right around the screen from Anderson. He'll swing left side. That's Thomas at the top of the key. He's fouled on a reach in by Daniel Robinson. That's going to be his second here in the first half. 
So Coach McGee will have a choice here, and he's going to check in Sprinkles, who only got a, uh, maybe 15 seconds on the bench, and now he's back into the game. Robinson to the bench with those two fouls. 20 on the shot clock, inbounded from the sideline as Thomas Hill will get it in to Welton. Welton, left side. With it is Brantner. Brantner will hand off to Thomas. He'll go to the logo. 10 on the shot clock. Thomas calls out the play. Thomas right around the screen from Anderson, just outside the right elbow. Drives to the right block. Throws up a heave with two seconds on the clock. Out of bounds. It's going to be off of McGowan. The shot missed, and McGowan tried to grab the rebound, and he couldn't corral it. Ends up out of bounds. So Shawnee catches a break. Get a fresh 20 seconds on the shot clock. But first, Shawnee wants a timeout to talk things over. Wabash Valley up 17 to 11. 10.54 left here in the first half. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Zach Reynolds back here with you at Ren Lake College for the Region 24 tournament. Wabash Valley up 17 to 11 right now, 10:54 left here in the first half. Shawnee with a basketball, 20 on the shot clock. It'll be Washington. Out of the timeout to inbound from underneath his own basket. Sprinkles will guard him. It's inbound into Anderson over in the right corner. Trying to back down McGowan. Just outside the restricted line. Throws it up with the left hand. Up in the air. It was swatted. McGowan came away with the rebound. Taylor now up on the right side. To the right wing. Crossing over. Kicks. Sprinkles top of the key. Sprinkles cuts in now. Kicks. Razor Moore left corner. Three ball. Off right. Off the back iron. And a rebound for Welton. Welton will bring it up. Swings right side. That's Thomas down low. McGowan knocks away the pass. Incentive for Anderson. McGowan able to knock away the entry out of bounds. They'll have to inbound now from an awkward spot over in the right corner. It'll be Thomas on the trigger. 22 on the shot clock. Thomas kicks to the right wing. That's Washington with it. Washington will pull up and sprinkles face for three. No good. And Razor Moore tapped around the rebound, but Henderson has it now. Henderson on the right side for Wabash Valley. And that whole swing left side. Knocked away. Saved in bounds. Sprinkles will corral it. Good play defensively from Shawnee, but Wabash Valley gets it back. Sprinkles, right wing, three ball. Cash money, nothing but net for Sprinkles. His second three ball of the game. He's got eight points. 20 to 11 now. Wabash Valley's lead continues to get higher. It's now at nine. Right side with it is Thomas for Shawnee. He'll swing to the top of the key. That's Washington. Inside the three-point line. Now he backs it back out and swings right side to Thomas. Now right corner. That's Brantner. Looking down low. One there. Brandon Razor Moore picks his pocket. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it goes back to Shawnee. Brantner knocked it out of Razor Moore's hands, but Razor Moore touched it last. So he stole it away, but Shawnee gets it back. A number of changes for Shawnee here. Lemon checks back in, as does Marr. So it'll be Shawnee Ball. Washington will inbound from just to the left of Wabash Valley bench over near in the right corner. Washington trying to get it in, and he does. Finds Pittman. Pittman up high on the right side. Left around a screen from Lemon to the top. Now cuts in, kicks left corner. Thomas Hill drive towards the paint. At the free throw line, dumps it down at the right block and can't finish. Can Miles Lemon rebound to Razor Moore. Outlet pass up to Taylor. Taylor at the free throw line. Now the right block. Throws the shot up off the glass. No good and rebounded by Maurer. He'll go on the dribble now. Hand up to Thomas. Thomas swings left corner. It's Pittman. He'll cut into the paint. Now I'll cut across and get it out. And back to Pittman. Top of the key. Long three. No good. Aziki couldn't come away with the board. Ball knocked out of bounds. Wabash Valley gets possession. Last touch by Washington. Some chaos there. Coach McGee wants a timeout. He still leads his Warriors, that is. Lead 20 to 11 with 903 left in the first half. They're going to take a break, and we'll take it with them. We'll be back in one minute.
Chris has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. You're listening to Warriors Basketball on 89.1 The Bass, 89.1 WVJC FM, Mount Carmel, Illinois. Zach Reynolds bringing you the action here. And the Warriors in their quarterfinal for the Region 24 tournament facing off against Shawnee. And they've got the lead right now, 22-11. 9.03 left here in the first half. Wabash Valley had a hot start. Both teams have kind of had a bit of a soft spell offensively. Both teams playing really good defense. Wabash Valley with that nine-point lead and the ball out of the timeout. It'll be McGowan, Taylor, Razor Moore, Aziki, and Henderson in the game for Coach McGee and the Warriors. Some pressure here from Shawnee, full court. A trap on Taylor. He'll throw this one up, and it's intercepted by Lemon. Hands off to Pittman up on the right side. Swings the left side to Thomas. Now he'll swing back right. Pittman gets it in the corner with Marr. Marr cuts across, spins at the right elbow, down in the paint. Puts up a little jump shot, left it short, Taylor to the board. Taylor now on the dribble. We're bringing it up, guarded by Marr. Taylor across the timeline. Goes left around a screen from Ezekiel at the top. Taylor picked up the dribble, needs help. Hands off to Henderson. Henderson up high on the left side. Now he'll go right around a screen from Ezekiel. Got cut off momentarily. He'll hand off to Razor Moore. Razor Moore at the top of the key to the free throw line. Stepping back, finds McGowan in the short right corner. Nine on the shot clock. McGowan pulls up from just outside the right elbow, and he got the jump shot to fall. The big man, known for his finishing, throws off a jump shot there. McGowan with four here in the first half. Washington hands off on the right side. No fake to hand off. Now he'll swing back to Marr on the right wing. Now at the top, it's Thomas. Thomas will step it back to the logo. Let something develop. He'll go right around the screen. On the right wing, Thomas swings up top to Pittman. Guarded by Razor Moore. Pittman crosses over, gathers into the right block. He's fouled. Three Warriors there. We'll see who they call the foul on. And it looks like it's going to be on Raymond Ezeke. So the big man picks up the foul there. That's his second. And that'll put Ladrakis Pittman at the free throw line. He's one of two tonight. Pittman at the line. 13.1 points per game for Shawnee this season. First free throw this time, nothing but net. Gets Shawnee within 10. It's 22-12 while Ash Valley with the lead. Anderson at the scorer's table, set to check in. Pittman's second free throw, good as well. And now Anderson will check in. And to the bench is Miles Lemon. Full court press again here from Shawnee. It worked well for him earlier, a couple of times. McGowan on the right side, behind the back, dribble across the timeline, now picks it up, needs help. Swings to raise more, he'll get it to Henderson at the top. Henderson on the drive to the right wing. Spinning around, now he'll slow it down. Up on the right side, picked up the dribble, finds Ezekiel, he hands it right back. Henderson throws it down, McGowan, double team comes at the block, swings to Taylor, extra pass, Henderson, right wing, three ball, cash money! Nothing but the bottom for Lucas Henderson. A 40% three-point shooter in his own right, hit it there. Quickly the other way, Thomas, left corner three, an air ball is too strong, Ezekiel, the ball on the ground, loses it, Anderson puts it back up and in for two. 25-15 now. McGowan throws this one up to Henderson on the right side, trying to break the press. Now back to McGowan in the middle. He'll break across the timeline. Crosses over, swings up high left side to Henderson. Henderson calls for a screen. He's got it from Ezekiel. Goes left instead of right around it. Kicks to Taylor. Ball off his foot. He's got it back on the right wing. Left around a screen from Ezekiel. Kicks to McGowan. Left corner. He'll try to drive baseline. Now spins around. Finds Henderson. Six on the shot clock. Razor Moore right corner three. Off left, or right rather, and now a foul on the rebound attempt by McGowan, or Ezekiel rather. So now they'll call that Ezekiel's second. So earlier they had the scoreboard wrong, so that's just Ezekiel's second, but nonetheless, he's got two here in the first half. He'll head to the bench. Sprinkles back into the ball game for Wabash Valley. It's 25-15, Wabash Valley with the lead. 6.35 left in the first half. 
Marr on the left side swings up top to Welton who hands it right back to Marr. Marr cutting, driving in. Ball knocked away momentarily and now a reach-in foul on Colleen Taylor. That'll be his second in the first half. So Wabash Valley running into a little bit of foul trouble here. Got to be careful. Maurer on the trigger underneath his own basket. Gets taken away by McGowan. Now a foul call. And it's actually going to be on Welton. So McGowan knocked it away. And then Welton fouled him trying to get it back. So good defense there by McGowan. He's really good at knocking away those entry passes. Razor Moore will inbound against the full court pressure this time. Gets it to Taylor. Right back to Razor Moore. Now back to Taylor on the right side. Razor Moore is on the left. Razor Moore swings this one up, Sprinkles ahead of the pack to the left block, lays it in with ease. Beat the press perfectly that time. Sprinkles up to 10 points in the first half. It's 27-15. Washington on the left wing. Now driving, cuts into the free throw line, crosses over, pulls up for the free throw line, jumper hits the front rim, and then bounces in. So Washington with the shooter's touch, got that one to fall. Taylor on the right side working against Washington now, swings up top to Sprinkles. Sprinkles looked left, and they still got the ball. Now he'll dribble hand off to Henderson. Henderson crossing over, showing off the dribble, moves to the right wing, cuts in, right block, throws up a floater. That one's short, may have been tipped by Anderson. Rebound was to Marr. He'll throw this one up and throws it away. Trying to get it to Washington up quickly to the right corner, but it was too far and too high for the shorter Washington. And Shawnee turns it right back over. Wabash Valley's made some of the mistakes in this game, but typically it's been that Shawnee makes them right back. So Wabash Valley still with a 10-point lead. Could be even higher if they can clean some things up. But a good start here in this first half. Razor Moore up to Sprinkles. Short corner. Throws up the lob. McGowan couldn't handle it. Just a little high for him. Shawnee the other way. Pittman to the left wing. Swings. Anderson. One dribble into the paint. Rejected by McGowan off the glass. Rebound to Sprinkles. And then he's fouled. Julia McGowan with another chase down block. He's become known for that this season. And the foul is going to be on Xavier Bell, he just checked in and immediately has a foul and a rebound attempt. Julian McGowan, that defense is his calling card. Missed the lob and didn't just cry that he didn't get the, a good enough lob pass. He chased down a block on the other end. That's what you love about Julian McGowan. Robinson in the game. Fans raise the moral. Find Henderson at the top spin around. They beat the press. Now pass back out to Robinson. He'll slow it down. Up high on the right side, 15 on the shot clock. Robinson to the right wing, swings across. Razor Moore on the left wing now on the dribble. Crossing over to the left elbow, now left block. Spin around in a foul. Going to be on Welton, I believe. No, make that Bell. So Bell fresh into the game and already two quick fouls on him. Resets the shot clock to 20. There's 4.58 left in the first half. Wabash Valley leads 27-17. Robinson underneath his own basket just to the left on the trigger. Looking, will kick to the corner. That's Sprinkles in the left corner, working against Bell. Sprinkles jabs, now pulls through, lost the ball out of bounds. Bell, good defense that time. Sprinkles lost it. Wabash Valley still with that 10-point lead. Shawnee with the ball moving right to the left. It'll be Washington to bring it up when he gets the inbound from Pittman. Henderson, Robinson, Sprinkles, McGowan, and Razor Moore in the game for Wabash Valley. Washington. To the right around the screen from Bell. He's out the right wing. Gets picked up by Sprinkle. Swings to Anderson at the top. Anderson drives. Trying to back down. Throws up a shot with the left hand off the glass. Too strong. Robinson, the point guard with the board. Up with the big man. Up to Sprinkles. Sprinkles at the left elbow. Hops into the paint. Kicks Anderson. Extra pass. Razor Moore. Right corner three. Too strong. Missed the rim. Shawnee the other way. Pittman to Anderson the left wing. He'll take the extra pass. Driving baseline is Welton. And he's fouled. Anderson trying to cut him off. And will pick up a blocking foul. I believe that puts Shawnee into the one and one bonus. And it will, so that'll put Israel Welton to the free throw line, a 78.4% free throw shooter this season. Very efficient. He'll be at the line down 10. With 4.23 left in the first half. A lot of time to go with bonus free throws for Shawnee. That could help them get back into this one, but Wabash Valley up 10 right now. Welton has to make the first to earn the second, and he does. Hit that first one. So he earns the second. Welton back at the free throw line. Gets Shawnee within single digits. It's 27-18. Second free throw up. 
That one good as well. So it's 27-19, 4.23 left in the first half. No press this time from Shawnee. Robinson will bring it up. Robinson up top, over the logo, looks to Coach McGee for the play. Now swings left to Sprinkles. Kind of a trap zone defense here from Shawnee. Anderson with it now. On the wing, swings, skips it to Robinson, fakes the pass, now up to the Sprinkles up top. Left side, Henderson working against the zone. Into the middle with Robinson, kicks. Sprinkles right wing now. Razor Moore, short corner, two-point jump shot. And is good. Razor Moore's bread and butter, the mid-range shot. He's got six points, four of them from mid-range shots today. Washington brings it up, lead back to 10 for Wabash Valley. Washington right around the screen from Anderson. Picked up his dribble, swings up top to Bell. Bell working against Sprinkles, crossing over, into the paint, into the right block, kicks it out. Right corner, Walton fakes the three, and now Razor Moore picks up a foul. Walton pump faked, and Razor Moore jumped and landed into him. So Walton to the line for another one-and-one -one bonus here. Hit both of them just moments ago when he was in the bonus. He'll try to do that again. Walton just scores 2.5 a game. But a good free throw shooter, as we mentioned Moments ago, first shot up this time, he made it again. So he'll earn the second again in the one and one. Eight team fouls on Wabash Valley here in the first half. Robinson, Saylor, and Ezeke all with two each. Second free throw up this time and falls in as well. So four for four from the line in the last couple of minutes is Israel Welton. Makes it 29-21. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Sprinkles left side. Here comes the trap. He'll swing the right side to Robinson. Robinson up high on the right side. 20 on the shot clock. He'll swing left to Sprinkles. Sprinkles up top. Swings up high left side. It's Henderson. Back to Robinson. They're being patient with the zone. Henderson left wing. Free ball. Money. Had two defenders in his face. Didn't matter. Cash Henderson. Another triple. Welton hands out to Pittman on the left side. He'll dribble towards the logo. Looks to the bench for his call. Now he'll direct traffic. Pittman to the right side. Swings on the right wing. That's Washington now back up top to Bell. Bell dribble handoff. Splits two defenders to the right block. Throws up a shot off the glass and in. Bell got that one to fall over McGowan. Showing off a slashing ability there. And Washington takes it away and lays it in. For Shawnee, a four-point swing there. And it's 32-25. With 2.40 left. Coach McGee wants a timeout. Wasn't happy about those last couple of seconds there. Wabash Valley still up 32-25 with 2.38 left here in the first half. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese bread sticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get 8-inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Back here at Rand Lake College, Zach Reynolds with you on 89 won the bash. Wabash family leads 32-25 with 2.38 left here in the first half of the quarterfinals and the Region 24 tournament. Facing off against Shawnee, Wabash Valley. Had a 10-point lead, but a couple of free throws and then a couple of baskets, including a steal from Keyshawn Washington. A big swing for Shawnee. Now they're much closer. Left side with it. Sprinkles will hand off to Henderson. He'll swing right side to Robinson. Trap comes to him. A zone defense. For kicks. Henderson left wing. Pump fakes the three. Now in the drive towards the left corner. He got hacked. No call. Robinson at the free throw line. He'll just pull up for two where he found it. Off the back iron. No good. A rebound to Welton. Shawnee continues with momentum. Up to Anderson, short corner. He falls down, and he throws this one up. A heave, it's caught by Pittman. Pittman up high right side, swings at the top of the key with Welton. Welton back to Pittman over the logo. He'll call out the play for Shawnee. Anderson comes up, shows pressure on Pittman. Number zero versus number zero. Pittman left around the screen, now picked up by Robinson. Seven on the clock, on the left wing. Pittman on the dribble, tries to split two defenders, lost the ball, out of bounds. Wabash Valley takes the way, good team defense that time. Got it down to the end of the shot clock and forced an air. Taylor, McGowan, Sprinkles, Henderson, and Razor Moore in the game for Wabash Valley. Coach McGee calls out the play. Taylor will bring it up. He'll swing right side to Sprinkles. Here comes the trap. Back to Taylor now up top. 
Left side now, Razor Moore. Now back to Taylor. 19 on the shot clock. Back to Razor Moore on the left, on the left wing. He'll kick to McGowan in the left corner. Guarded by Thomas. Spins around, drives baseline. And the jelly on the, couldn't get the finish. Gets his own rebound. Put back, too strong. Ball up in the air. And Washington has it. Looked like he was stepping out of bounds. Refs say otherwise. And Henderson might have got away with a foul there. Here comes the trap. Washington up to Pittman. Step back three in the right corner. Missed it. Rebound in the hands of McGowan. Chaos here in the last couple of minutes. Henderson will swing it back out to Sprinkles. Up high on the right side. He'll slow it down. 105 left here in the first half. Right side Sprinkles. Jabs. Now he'll kick to McGowan in the short right corner. McGowan back to Sprinkles at the top. Left corner now. Razor Moore. Here comes a trap. Into Taylor at the left elbow. Taylor hasn't dribbled yet. Now a triple team. Takes one dribble. Tries to find McGowan at the right block, but overshot him out of bounds. A turnover. This defensive chain for Shawnee is looking really good for him. Wabash Valley not being able to figure it out yet. They still got a 32-25 lead. The Warriors do, that is. With 47 seconds left here in the first half. But Shawnee has been getting closer and closer in the last couple of minutes of the first half. They've got the ball. Left side, it's Thomas up top now. Welton swings right side to Pittman. Pittman swings. Washington thought about the three. Now he'll go on the dribble into the paint. Throws up a shot. Couldn't get it to fall, but a foul. That's going to be on Razor Moore, it looks like. I thought they might have called it on Henderson, but instead it's on Brennan Razor Moore, and that'll be his second. And Keyshawn Washington to the line. 77.5% on the season. A small guy, smallest guy on the court by far, but he shoots it really well from three and from the free throw line where he's at now. First free throw up, he missed it off left. And I just got done talking about how good of a shooter he is and he misses a free throw. Trying to make a liar out of me. 32-25, Wabash finally with the lead. 33.6 seconds left here in the first half. Washington at the free throw line, makes the second, makes it 32-26. One or two from the line that time. Taylor will bring it up slowly for Wabash Valley on the right side. Looks to Coach McGee for a play call. 25 seconds left now. 20 on the clock. Shot clock, that is. Taylor now up on the left side, right around the screen from McGowan and Razor Moore. Taylor in the right corner now. Picks up the dribble. Swings. Razor Moore top the key. Way downtown. Three ball off left. And a rebound to Thomas. Thomas trying to take it himself. Now hands off. Welton on the right, on the left wing to the left block. And he'll lay it up and in off the glass. And that will do it for the first half. So Shawnee with a run at the end of the first half. Wabash Valley still leads 32 to 28 at the end of one half here in the quarterfinals at the Region 24 tournament. This one far from over yet. Wabash Valley with a 32-28 lead in halftime. We'll take a three-minute break and be back for the halftime show. in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's.
Tazit and Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg, Buick GMC, and Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get 8 inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Chris Todd. Now, Shawnee within four, Wabash Valley still at the lead. Shawnee about midway, even later maybe, into that first half. They switch to a zone defense, you know, a 2-3, but they trap on the wing. So they don't trap the guy at the top of the key, but when it's swung right or left to either of the wings, then here co there goes the trap. And it's proven some problems for Wabash Valley. I'm sure that they will talk over how to work offensively against that at halftime. And if they can come up with a plan at halftime to kind of beat that zone defense, then I'd like to think they won't have a problem with this one as they were doing really well offensively and were up at, by 10, as I mentioned, at one point. But they got this new defensive kink that they've got to figure out from Shawnee if they want to try to build back up the lead. They're still up 32-28 to 28 right now as I'll get into a bit of a scoring summary. For Wabash Valley, Lucas Henderson's got six points. Two, three balls for him, gives him six. Daniel Robinson with two, Colleen Taylor with two as well. Julian McGowan with four. Brandon Razor Moore with a six. And Adrian Sprinkles, he uh, leads all scorers in this game with 10 points. He's got two threes and two two-point field goals. And Raymond Ziki, the 6 eight big man from New Jersey with two points as well for Wabash Valley, really spreading the ball around. For Sean either, spreading the ball around as well. The Drake is Pittman. He has got six. Uh, he's got three free throws and a three ball. Keyshawn Washington has got five for them, including a big-time momentum play for him as they scored a basket with Johnny Anderson. And then on the inbound, Count Wabash Valley lacking, took it right away and scored on him. And that was part of his five points and really part of the comeback to get them within four. Xavier Bell in limited action has two points. Osiris Marr with two as well. Four off on the free throw line for Israel Wilton. Two for Jamil Grigsby, who played early on in the first half, but then sat most of it. Lemon with two is the starting big man, and Johnny Anderson, their leading scorer at 14.4 game with just three points. So they're kind of spreading it around. Wabash Valley doing the same. No, you know, monstrous scores in this game for either side. As I mentioned, Sprinkles with 10 points leads the way. And uh, for all scores, it's really been a defensive battle, especially since. Shawnee switched up that defense and kind of got things going momentum-wise in their favor, but Wabash Valley able to hold on to a lead, and they'll come out of the half trying to extend it. They're up 32-28 right now. We're going to take another three-minute break, and we'll be back with more of the halftime show here on 89.1 The Bash.
for the Region 24 tournament. Shawnee back out on the court now, starting to get some warm-up shots before the second half. Wabash Valley leads 32-28 at halftime. And Wabash Valley not back out on the court yet. You'll be hard-pressed to find a time where they are the first team back on the court at halftime. Coach McGee really likes to take his time in the locker room at halftime, whether they're up or down. He really likes to take his time in there, coach his team up, and uh, left him out usually with just a couple of minutes left in the warm-up period to get a little bit of shots up and then right back into it. Big on the strategy at halftime is Coach Terrence McGee. In his first season at Wabash Valley, he had a really good season. Basically a brand new team. Razor Moore, the only returner. McGee and the new head coach of the team. Justin Walker, a new assistant. Both of them new to Mount Carmel. And they put together a 15 and 10 season, 10 and 6 conference record in a really tough conference, a really good conference the Grack is, and a really good region, Region 24. And just uh, before this game, we saw the two seed of the Region 24 tournament, OCC Blue Knights, get knocked off by the seven seed Southwestern Illinois College. So that is who will face the winner of this matchup. It'll be Swick versus the winner of Shawnee and Wabash Valley tomorrow in the semifinal. So the road to the championship game runs through two teams that Wabash Valley has beat at least one time this season in Shawnee and Swick. And right now, in the quarterfinal against Shawnee, they are up 32-28. to I talked about a little bit in the beginning of the halftime show that Shawnee really put on a strong zone defense there at the end of the first half that really helped them get going, helped them create turnovers, which in turn obviously helped them offensively. They always say, you know, defense leads to good offense. And that was worked for Shawnee to get them closer as they were down by 10 at one point. They're still down by four. Wabash Valley playing really good offensively today and really good defensively as Wabash Valley back out on the court now to get some more up shots as well. They lead by four points here at halftime in the quarterfinal. Can they finish it out? We will have to see. Trying to move on to the semifinals against Swift tomorrow. Wabash Valley up 32-28 to at halftime. We're going to take one last two-minute break and be back the start of the second half. In Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection. Like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg, Buick GMC, and Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get 8 inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection. Like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get 8 inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Shawnee and the home whites. This uh, half, it'll be Shawnee moving left to right and Wabash Valley moving right to left. 
Wabash Valley trying to finish out and keep this lead and add to it and try to move on to the semifinals in the Region 24 tournament tomorrow where they would face Southwestern Illinois College, a team that they beat at Southwestern Illinois College just a couple of weeks ago, just before spring break. It'll be Sprinkles, Aziki, Taylor, Robinson, and Razor Moore to start the second half for Wabash Valley, so the starters back out there. It'll be Welton, Thomas, Lemon, Pittman, and Anderson for Shawnee. Both teams with starters back out. Raisin Moore on the right wing. Here comes that trap. He'll swing to Robinson on the left wing. Robinson kicks now. Taylor on the left corner. Skip past the Raisin Moore. Extra pass. Sprinkles in the right corner. Thought about three. Didn't take it. Now on the dribble. Here comes the trap. Picked it up. Finds Aziki at the right block. Turns around. Rejected by Johnny Anderson. Rebound to Thomas. Thomas the other way. Defense still strong for Shawnee. A strong start in the second half for them defensively. They've got the ball here left to right. Top the key, Welton. He'll drive in. Fakes the handoff. Spins around just inside the three-point line. Hands out to Thomas. Thomas on the right wing with 10 on the clock. Left around a uh, screen from Lemon. Left side, Anderson. Now to Pittman at the left wing. He'll dribble around and take the three. He got it. Second of the game. And Shawnee within one. It's 32 to 31, Wabash Valley resists that one point lead. Right side with it, Sprinkles back to Taylor on the left. Working against his zone, Sprinkles on the right wing again with it, working against Pittman. Swings to Robinson in the left corner. Here comes the trap, he'll get it out to Taylor. Not on the shot clock. Sprinkles right wing, three, money. Sprinkles with the answer. His third three of the game. That's how you want to beat that zone defense. Swing it around so you get an open look at three. Then you got to knock it down. Pittman spinning around, driving in. Stops, kicks to Thomas on the right wing. He'll find Anderson, right corner three. Anderson answers Sprinkles. So three points flying for both sides here to start the second half. 35-34, Wabash Valley with the lead. Right side, Sprinkles back up to Robinson. Now left side, Razor Moore. He'll take one dribble, kicks to Taylor in the left corner. He'll dribble out to the left wing. Taylor skips, Sprinkles on the right wing. Sprinkles takes a dribble now, swing back to Taylor. Nine on the shot clock. Taylor to Robinson on the skip pass. Jab steps, takes a three from the right corner. That one too strong. Rebound to Thomas. He'll bring it up. Shawnee a chance to take the lead. Shawnee, that's Anderson, will hand off to Pittman. Pittman working against Sprinkles. Up high on the left side, he'll swing right to Thomas, who kicks to Welton in the right corner, into the paint. Dumps it off at the block. That's Lemon. Dribbling around in the paint, trying to spin around, throws up a shot, and it's in. Got that one to go over the 6'8", Raymond Aziki. Lemon's got four, and Shawnee takes a 1.36-35 lead with 7.25 left in the second half. Robinson up top, swings right side to Taylor. Taylor gathers in, kicks to the sprinkles, extra pass, Robinson, top of the key, three ball, money. Daniel Robinson with his first three of the game, 39% shooter from there. Takes the lead back for Wabash Valley. Back and forth we go. Welton on the right wing. Jabs, now he'll swing up south to Thomas. Thomas on the left wing will dribble hand off to Pittman. Pittman working against Sprinkles will back it out. 15 on the shot clock. Pittman will call out the play. Pittman to the logo. Has a screen from Lemon. If he wants it, he'll go right around it. Ziki cuts him off. Now it's out the key. Anderson jabs. Pump fakes. Now down into Lemon in the paint. Takes one dribble. Turn around and shot. A foul on Ziki. That'll be his third. He was straight up. Extended his arms a little bit, and that's going to pick up a foul. Lemon to the free throw line. Aziki now with three fouls. Miles Lemon at the line, 64% on the season from the charity stripe. Sporting number 22, 6.7 a game. He's a big man for him. At the line, first shot up, it's in. They're going to keep Aziki in, even with those three fouls. We'll have to be careful. Lemon gets the ball back at the free throw line. Second one up. Good as well. So Taylor will bring it up on the left side for Wabash Valley. 38 to 38, all side up. Now right side, Robinson. Fakes the left. Now on the dribble. Kicks to Sprinkles, still in the right corner. He'll swing across to Taylor up high on the left side. Taylor back to Sprinkles on the rowing. Immediately takes the dribble. Kicks. Razor Moore, right corner, three ball. Around the rim and falls off. Lemon the board. Shawnee a chance to take the lead back. Tied up at 38. Pittman up on the left side. Swings to Anderson up top. 
Anderson back to Pittman. Now sets the screen for him. Pittman around it. Steps it back on the right wing. Pittman. Will reset. 15 on the shot clock. Pittman over the logo now. We'll let things develop. Raising more guards him. Here comes the screen. Pittman right around it. Steps back. Hands off to Lemon. He'll drive in to the right block. Spin around. Throws up a shot off the glass. No good. But Ezekiel going to pick up a fourth foul. Lemon might have got away with the travel to drive into the paint. And then Ezekiel fouled him. So four on Raymond Ezekiel. And Lemon back to the free throw line where he just was. McGowan set to check in for Raymond after the first free throw here. Shawnee trying to get the lead back here with this free throw. Ups up for Lemon and in. So they take the 39 to 38 lead. And now McGowan and in Ezekiel to the bench. Lemon with the ball back at the free throw line for number two at this trip. And it falls in. So they got a two-point lead, Shawnee, that is, 40 to 38. Taylor on the left wing. Takes one dribble, swings out to Sprinkles. He'll kick to Raisin Moore in the right corner. Skip pass, Taylor, left wing, deep, three. Left it short, and off the front of the rim, rebound in the hands of Thomas. He'll throw it up. Head of the pack is Welton, and it's knocked away by Sprinkles with the defensive effort. Robinson the other way for Wabash Valley. Hands off, Sprinkles kicks to Taylor in the left corner. Almost lost it. He's got it. Here comes a trap, and he is fouled. Foul is going to be, it could be on a couple of them, and it's going to be on Johnny Anderson. Had their choice of Anderson or Welton pushing Taylor out in the corner, and they call it on Anderson. Checking in is Keyshawn Washington to the bench is Welton, and also checking in for Shawnee is Osiris Marr and Thomas to the bench. Shawnee with a two-point lead. Wabash Valley with the ball, 22 on the shot clock, 15-30 on the game clock in the second half. Sprinkles on the right wing, swings the left wing to Tom, or Taylor, back to Sprinkles. Trap moving around, Sprinkles on the drive, kicks out to Taylor. Taylor at the top, drives around, behind the back dribble, kicks. Sprinkles, left corner three, or left wing rather, he missed that one. Rebound, knocked it around, into the hands of Razor Moore, off to McGowan. Back to Razor Moore, he's fouled on the pass, McGowan is. Reach in foul on the pass. Going to be on the Dreykus Pittman. Some chaos there. The, that first shot there from Taylor hit the front of the rim and, or sprinkles rather, the front of the rim and bounced long. Got knocked out of the hands of a Shawnee player right into the Razor Moore. Anderson fresh checked in up top. Waits for things to develop. Now swings left side to Sprinkles. Ten on the shot clock. Sprinkles on the left wing. Right around the screen from McGowan. Crosses over. Sprinkles into the paint. Dumps off. McGowan at the left block. Pump fake goes up and he's fouled. Got two Shawnee defenders in the air and he'll go to the line. Foul going to be on Osiris Marr. So Julian McGowan, the forward at the line, shoots 64.9% from the free throw shooter, uh, the free throw line this season. First one up here. He made it. Gets Wabash Valley back within one. Each of the teams straight a few three-pointers early on in the second half, and really since then, scoring is slowed. McGowan, second shot from the free throw line, made them both, ties it up at 40 apiece. So McGowan was six total now. Shawnee moving left to right. Pittman bringing it up on the left side. Guarded by Sprinkles. Pittman right around a couple of screens to the right wing. Taylor picks him up defensively. Pittman still dribbling. Now to the left of the top of the key. Picked up by Razor Moore. Pittman all the way to the left block. Throws up a shot off the front of the rim. Marr, the offensive board. No, he lost it. Marr had it. And then lost it out of bounds. Wabash Valley takes it back, a chance to take the lead this next time up the floor with a 40-40 tie, 14-25 left here in the second half. Taylor across the timeline up on the left side. Still that zone defense. Skips it across to Sprinkles. Sprinkles over the logo, takes one dribble, kicks. Raisin Moore in the corner. Skips to Taylor at the left wing. Fake the left, now he'll go on the dribble. Over the head pass to McGowan, and he can't finish it at the left block. Off the glass a little too strong. They couldn't cash in. Washington the other way. Kicks. Pittman. Deep. Top of the key. Three ball. In and out. Rebound. Out of bounds off the hands of Lemon. Wabash Valley gets it back. 
Both teams now struggling to put it in the basket other than the free throw variety. The last couple of minutes. Worth side up at 40 apiece. An electric finish brewing here at the Region 24 tournament quarterfinals. at 40 to 40, 13.57 left in the second half. We'll be back in one minute. Chris has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Zach Reynolds back here with you on 89-1 the bash for Warriors basketball they are tied up 40-40 to against Shawnee right now at the Region 24 tournament on the campus of Ren Lake College 13 minutes 57 seconds left here in the second half it's uh, been a great second half they're tied up going back and forth and this one's going to go all the way to the end I, I would have to imagine two teams that have played twice already this season before this matchup and they split them so this is the rubber match and the winner moves on to the semifinals against Swift tomorrow. Wabash Valley with the basketball out of the timeout. Sprinkles on the right side takes a dribble now swings left side to Daniel Robinson. Robinson left corner Henderson for three left that one short gets his own rebound long into the paint kicks to Robinson tap the key way downtown who didn't take it kicks left side to Sprinkles instead. Sprinkles into the paint gathers kicks Razor Moore no travel. Sprinkles tried to Gather step into the lane and then kick, and he got called for the travel. So Wabash Valley turns it over. McGowan to the bench. Razor Moore checks back in, so it's Robinson, Sprinkles, Henderson, Taylor, and Razor Moore on the floor for Wabash Valley. Bit of a small ball lineup. Pittman over the logo. Now to the left side, up high, back right. Pittman to the right block. Throws up a shot. It's no good. Rolls off the left of the rim and Taylor the board. Taylor on the dribble now. Up to Razor Moore. Razor Moore kicks. Robinson left. Corner. Three ball in transition. Too strong and off left. Henderson the offensive board. Puts it in the hands of Sprinkles. He'll lay it up and in. Sprinkles continues his good day. He leads the all scoring. He's got 15. Washington on the right wing. Swings up to Marr. He'll swing left side to Pittman. Pittman to Washington at the top of the key, guarded by Henderson. Washington trying to drive, spins at the right elbow. Now will kick out to Marr, top of the key. Marr jabs, now swings right side to Welton. Welton guarded by Reza Moore, not on the shot clock. Welton into the lane, puts up a floater, no good. Taylor another board, now he's trapped. Taylor needs help, takes a dribble, trapped by Anderson, and he steps out of bounds. No foul call, instead they call Taylor stepping out of bounds. A lot of contact there. And the call goes Shawnee's way. So they'll get it back underneath their own basket. Marr will be on the trigger. Marr, a big guy, tall but skinny. Marr gets the ball for the inbound play. Looking in the paint, he'll find Anderson. Taylor falls down. Anderson puts up a shot off the back arm with the left hand. Rebound tapped around. Sprinkles comes away with it. Sprinkles able to track it down the other way. Doesn't have numbers to the left wing. He'll slow it down wisely. Sprinkles will hand off to the point guard Robinson up high on the left side. McGee calls out the play. Left corner. Henderson for three. Cash money. Cash Henderson's third three of the game. Wabash Valley starting to find some momentum. They're back up by five, 45-40. Pittman over the logo, guarded by Robinson, goes right around the screen to, from Wilton. Kicks back to Wilton now up top. He'll swing left side to Washington. Washington guarded by Cash Anderson, gets it to Anderson way up high at the top. Back left to Washington. Washington on the dribble. Finds Wilton south again, hands back off. Washington into the paint. Euros throws up a floater from the free throw line. No good, gets his own rebound, throws up a shot, and one. Keyshawn Washington 
the smallest guy on the floor with the offensive board and the floater and one. And uh, just as I said, Wabash Valley getting some momentum back. That could easily be momentum for Shawnee. So Washington in the line where he's 77.5% on the season. One of two tonight. 45-42, Wabash Valley with a lead. 11.45 left in the second half. Washington at the line, completes the eight and one play. Hit the free throw, makes it 45-43. Now full court pressure from Shawnee. Robinson into the middle with Henderson. Here comes the trap. He'll hand up to Razor Moore. Razor Moore free throw line, kicks left corner to Taylor. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Taylor slows it down. Working, splits two defenders into the paint, kicks to Sprinkles. Extra pass, Razor Moore right corner, three, money. Wabash Valley starting to find it from behind the arc. Washington up high on the left side. Swings to the top of the well. He looks right. Now he'll drive there and hand off to Pittman, who swings left to Washington. Washington directing traffic. Washington working against Henderson. Has a screen. Goes around it. Picked up by Taylor. Hands off to Anderson. Anderson drives baseline in the left corner. Trying to back down Henderson. Kicks. Pittman at the top. Into the paint. Slows up a floater. Shot is altered from behind by Taylor and Henderson the board. Wabash Valley the other way up 48-43. Knocked out of bounds by Osiris Marr. So Marr able to slow it down, at least stop the fast break. Now he'll head to the bench, and so will Welton. Checking in is Thomas and Lemon. 48-43, Wabash Valley with the lead and the basketball, with 25 on the shot clock. Moving right to left. Robinson sprinkles Razor Moore, Henderson, and Taylor on the floor for Coach McGee and the Warriors. 10.50 left here in the second half. Sprinkles on the left wing, looks towards McGee for the play. Now kicks right side Taylor. Taylor, working against Anderson, swings left side, back to Sprinkles. He'll pull up for three. Money. Nothing but the bottom for Sprinkles, his fourth three of the game. Wabash Valley really shooting it hot from the three-point line here in the last couple of minutes, and that's got them a 51-43 lead. Washington around the screen on the left wing, swings up top to Anderson. Anderson swings right side to Pittman. Pittman kicks to the left corner with Thomas. He'll drive into the paint. Hop steps. Goes up. Too strong off the back iron. Rebound tapped out of the hands of Lemon into the hands of Taylor. Wabash Valley controlling the boards in the last couple of minutes as well. Robinson cuts into the paint. And he is hacked. Sandwich. No foul call. He got sandwiched by two Shawnee Saints. The ball trickles out of bounds. but I, They didn't call a foul, but I think they did call it out of bounds off of Shawnee. So at least Wabash Valley keeps the basketball. They got a 51-43 lead with 10 3 left in the second half here in the quarterfinals at Ren Lake. Trying to move on to the semifinals tomorrow against Swick. Two-point basket here could give them a 10-point lead. Taylor on the trigger. Throws this one up for Lucas Henderson at the logo. Henderson spinning around, working against Washington. Into the paint, kicks. Razor Moore, left wing, three. Too strong. Hit the shot clock out of bounds. Hit off the right of the rim, and it was a little strong. So couldn't nail that one, but they still got a lead here. Just need to continue to play good defense. Try to close this one out under 10 minutes left. Shawnee wants a timeout to talk over it. Wabash Valley is hot shooting the last couple of minutes. Has got them a 51-43 lead in the quarterfinals. 9.50 left in the second half. We'll be back here in one minute. Welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese bread sticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Chris? 51-43, Wabash Valley with the lead with nine minutes, 50 seconds left here in regulation. At Renly College for the quarterfinals of the Region 24 tournament here in postseason play. 
Zach Rollins with you on 89 won the bash, bringing you the action. Wabash Valley. Some hot shooting from the three-point line here in the last couple of minutes. After it was tied up at 40 at one point, it's now 51 to 43. Wabash Valley with the lead, trying to continue to grow it. But Shawnee with the basketball here, trying to cut back into it. Out of the timeout. Washington up top on the left side. 20 on the shot clock. Washington over the logo, directing traffic, being patient now. Swing right side. Thomas with it on the right wing. Up top. Now to Pittman. Zone defense from Wabash Valley now. 3-2. In the corner, Anderson to the left wing. Washington kicks back to Anderson. Left corner, three ball. Left that one short. Gets his own rebound. Throws up a floater. And Aziki fouls out. I saw that contact. They didn't call it immediately. I thought Aziki got away with it, but he doesn't. Aziki fresh back in, and now he will have fouled out. Raymond doesn't seem to realize that that's his fifth. Unless they changed the call from earlier, I'm pretty sure that's five. Now it looks like they changed the call to be on sprinkles in just his first, so no foul on Aziki. He definitely fouled Anderson, and he got away with it. Instead, one was called on sprinkles. Anderson makes the first free throw. Henderson's going to check in Aziki right back to the bench, nonetheless, with those four fouls. Tried the zone defense, didn't work. Anderson at the line for his second free throw. He made them both this time down the floor. Makes it 51-45, full court pressure, Taylor. Up high on the right side, swings across left, knocked away by Pittman, and it'll stay with Wabash Valley. Risky pass there, Pittman knocked it away, but out of bounds. Wabash Valley gonna have to do a better job of breaking the press when it, when it shows up. They avoided a turnover that time, though, just narrowly. 51-45, 9-16 left here in regulation. Wabash Valley with the lead. Now here comes Pittman to guard Robinson on the inbound attempt. They only got three seconds to get across the timeline, so they can't be lackadaisical with it. Sprinkles on the trigger from the sideline, throws this one up for Taylor across the timeline, and he's got it. So now they'll set up the offense. Taylor over the logo, directing traffic. 17 on the shot clock, left side. Henderson kicks to Sprinkles. He'll drive baseline, back up top to Taylor. Extra pass, Henderson on the left wing, sidesteps into the paint area, cuts across the lane, kicks Robinson right wing, three. Off left, Sprinkles trying for the offensive board instead. Lemon's got it. Lemon outlet pass to Pittman. He'll swing left side to Washington. Back to Pittman on the right wing. Now right corner, Thomas. Cuts into the paint at the restricted line. Gets it knocked away. Taylor with the block. Robinson with the board. Two on one to Henderson at the right block. He lays it in. Henderson now with 11 points. And Wabash Valley back up to an eight-point lead. Defense leading to good offense. Pittman on the right wing. Has a screen from Anderson. He goes left around it. They switch. Pittman pulls up for three. In and out. Henderson the board. Taylor will bring it up now. Washington comes to guard him. He'll swing right side to Henderson. Henderson spinning around. Picked up by Washington. Picked up the dribble. will swing to Taylor over the logo. 18 on the shot clock. Now right wing sprinkles. Back out to Taylor up top. Still the zone for Shawnee. Robinson up high on the right side. Nine on the shot clock. Robinson kicks. Taylor on the left wing. Five on the shot clock. Back to Robinson. Robinson spins at the right elbow. Pulls up with the defender in it on his face. And he can't hit the shot. It was off right. Rebound to Anderson. Outlet to Thomas. Thomas up high on the left side. Swings to Anderson at the top. He'll go in the dribble. Hand back to Thomas. Thomas on the left wing. Crossing over. Stepping back out. Swings to Washington. Washington trying to go down low. And Sprinkle's going to pick up a foul. Trying to... Guard Anderson near the block trying to avoid an inbound pass or an entry pass. Sprinkles picks up the foul. Wabash Valley takes the timeout. They've got an eight-point lead, 53-45 with 7.35 left here in the quarterfinals of the Region 24 tournament. We will be back here in one minute. Chris has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. 
Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg, Buick GMC, and Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Wabash well, Valley College and Shawnee Community College in a rubber match battle here in the quarterfinals of the Region 24 tournament. And Wabash well, Valley up 53 to 45 with 7.35 left here in regulation in the second half. Trying to advance to the semifinals against Swick tomorrow night here at the host campus of the Region 24 tournament, Wren Lake College. Beautiful campus, of course. Nice court here. Great day of basketball all day they had here, and uh, this is the nightcap, the main event, if you will, for today. Wabash Valley and Shawnee doing battle. Wabash Valley with an eight-point lead right now. Shawnee with the basketball. Underneath their own basket, Osiris Marr fresh in on the trigger. Marr throws this one up to Anderson. And he will bring it out to the logo on hand now to Washington. 15 on the shot clock. Washington drives left hands off to Marr. He'll dribble hand off motion offense to Anderson. Back to Marr on the right side around a screen. Spinning around. Throws up a shot high off the glass. Razor Moore is going to pick up a foul on a late whistle. That's going to be Brandon Razor Moore's third, I believe. And Osiris Marr to the free throw line where he shot about 74% this season. First shot up for Marr, nothing but net. McGowan going to check in for Razor Moore, so Razor Moore to the bench with those three fouls. Just to be careful. McGowan, a terrific defender into the game. Mars second free throw up, it's money as well. Makes it 53-47, full court pressure. Robinson swings left to Sprinkles, trying to break across the timeline, and Sprinkles steps across. Now spins, gets the ball knocked up by Pittman in the hands of Washington. Back to Pittman, do the right block. He will lay it in. Tried to get an and one, didn't get the call, but he finished the basket anyway. 53-49, Swick, or excuse me, Shawnee battling back. Robinson. Quickly across the timeline, kicks to Sprinkles on the left wing. Now up south to Robinson. Back to Sprinkles. Zone defense for Shawnee. Robinson back over the logo, fake swinging right. Now he will swing right to Henderson. Here comes the trap. Henderson on the dribble. Back to Robinson up top. Extra pass. Sprinkles left side. Five on the shot clock. Sprinkles throws this one away. It's going to be end up a backcourt violation. Sprinkles threw it away. Shawnee's defense. Showing trouble for Wabash Valley again like he did towards the end of the first half. Wabash Valley seemed to have figured it out with the three-point shot, but a couple of turnovers now. 53-49, Shawnee with some momentum. On the right side, it's Washington. He'll swing up south to Marr, guarded by Sprinkles. Marr on the dribble. Lost it, out of bounds. Tried to take Sprinkles to the rack, and he couldn't handle the dribble. Lost it out of bounds. Razor Moore checks back in, sprinkles to the bench. So full court pressure again from Shawnee. Razor Moore will be on the trigger, gets it to Henderson up high on the right, and he is quickly across the timeline. Now here comes the trap, spinning around, throws this one up. Robinson's got it at the logo. And now we're going to have a timeout by Wabash Valley. Coach McGee not happy with how they've been breaking the press. The timeout, we will take it with him, 53 to 49. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Valley up 53-49 with 6.15 left here in the second half. 
Zach Reynolds bringing you the action on 89-1 the bash. They've got the basketball, the Warriors that is, with 22 on the shot clock. Shawnee's defense been proven tough for the last few possessions. Wabash Valley trying to get back, get the ball back into the basket. They had some hot stretches with threes earlier in the second half, but they've gone cold a little bit here recently. Right side with it, Daniel Robinson on the right wing. Now he'll go on the dribble. Kicks to Razor Moore in the right corner. Now he goes on the dribble, back out to Robinson. Robinson swings the left side to Taylor. Cuts it in, hop steps into the paint, lost the ball. Out of bounds, another turnover. Wabash Valley wants a foul call. They didn't get it. Instead of turnover, Shawnee still with a chance here to really build some momentum, 53-49. Wabash Valley wants another stop. Anderson Garden, Washington over the logo. Washington waiting for things to develop. 18 on the shot clock. Washington now hands back out to Anderson. Top of the key, he traveled. Tried to fake left and then drive right, and he shuffled his feet when doing it, so they turned the ball right back over. Couldn't keep the pivot foot. Wallace Valley catches a break there. It's been a defensive battle, really, when, it's, when you break it down. Each team has had hot stretches offensively, but really the defense has been the story for both sides. Henderson, a right corner three. Pass from Taylor. Assisted to Henderson. He got the three ball. That's his fourth of the game. And that's exactly what they needed. Working against that zone. Taylor drove and kicked to the open shooter in Henderson. Pittman on the left side. Trying to look down low. Not there. He'll swing it up top to Marr. Marr right around the screen from Anderson. Spins around. He traveled, got away with it, and got a shot in off the glass. Taylor on the inbound. Throws it in to Henderson. Trying to work against this full court pressure. Now back to Taylor. Taylor up to Robinson. He'll break across the timeline easier that time. Robinson in the free throw line now trying to find McGowan. McGowan has it now. Reverse layup. It falls. Ball got knocked away momentarily, but McGowan corralled it and scored it. He's got eight points. 58-51. Wabash Valley starting to build another lead back up. Can they put it away with four and a half minutes left? That's the question. Maher up top. Crossing over. Spins at the free throw line. Got it knocked away by Taylor. Good defense. McGowan with the ball. Bounce pass up to Henderson. Almost too far for him, but he corrals it. He'll bring it out. Now in to the left elbow. Henderson, jump shot too strong and off left. Rebound by Lemon. Puts it in the hands of Pittman, who will bring it up on the left side, or the right side, rather. Picked up by Robinson. Now to Anderson at the logo. Back to Pittman. Back to Anderson. Played a little catch there. Anderson on the drive to the left block, and he is fouled. Two defenders were there. It was McGowan and Robinson. Foul is going to be called on Julian McGowan. Just his first. Usually when a Warriors in foul trouble, you think McGowan just because he's the big guy and he jumps all over the place, and naturally you're going to pick up some fouls that way along with those chase down blocks. But tonight, that's his first foul. Anderson at the free throw line with a left-handed shot. Another Manette. Makes him 4-5 from the line this evening. Sprinkles checks in. McGowan to the bench. 58-52. 4-0-3 left here in regulation in the second half. Each of these teams trying to move on to the semifinals in the Region 24 tournament. Anderson at the line for his second free throw this trip. He made them both. Five of six from the line tonight. Taylor on the inbound, gets it into Henderson on the left side. He'll go on the dribble. No trap yet. Now here it comes as he crosses the timeline. Kicks, sprinkles, left wing, three ball. Off left, rebound for Pittman. Pittman the other way quickly. Sprinkles cuts him off. Pittman on the right side, swings up top to Welton. Now on the left side, Washington. Guarded by Robinson, Washington. Not dribbled yet. Now he will. He'll drive to the left block. Throws up a floater and a foul. Washington to the line. That's going to be on Robinson. Foul number three on the Warriors point guard, Daniel Robinson. And Keyshawn Washington, who is two of three from the line this evening, back there. The 58-53 game, he's got a chance to make it a three-point game if he hits both of them. Washington there takes two dribbles. Now fires up his first free throw shot, and it's in. Henderson, Razor Moore 
sprinkles Robinson and Taylor on the floor for Wabash Valley in the small ball lineup. Washington at the line, second one up. Made them both, it's a three point game, 58-55. Full court pressure, Robinson on the right side. Will dribble, now swings left to Taylor. Back right to Robinson. Robinson will break across the timeline, gets past one defender. Now it's knocked out of bounds by Pittman, stays with Wabash Valley. Pittman, hands on his head, can't believe it. Wabash Valley stays with it. They've got to take better care of the basketball. Sprinkles will throw it in to Robinson up high on the right side. 17 on the shot clock. Robinson waiting for a screen. Here it is from Razor Moore. Robinson left around it to the top. Spins around to the right elbow. Kicks out Razor Moore. Deep right wing three. Off left. Offensive board for Lucas Henderson. Henderson on the dribble. Hands out to Taylor on the left wing. Taylor up high on the left side. Trying to kill some clock. Now he'll go. 10 on the shot clock. Taylor up top. Cuts in. Picks up the dribble. Hand off. To Henderson, he's cut off. Five on the shot clock. Henderson at the logo. Drives, hops into the lane. Throws up a shot. He's fouled. Didn't quite get a shot up. He was jumping, trying to shoot. We'll see if they give him the free throws. And they will. Foul is going to be on Welton. That's his second. And Henderson to the free throw line here. Under three minutes now left in regulation. 2.54 to be exact. Henderson a... 84.4% free throw shooter to go along with that 40.2% from the three-point line. He's a good shooter. Takes his time at the line. Shot up and good. Henderson early on in the season wasn't a good free throw shooter. Was shooting around 60 to 65%. And he made a change to where he really takes his time at the line. Really thinks through it. Takes deep breaths. Kind of like when you think about Giannis Antetokounmpo in the NBA. Take their time at the free throw line. You know, not everybody likes it, but that's their process, and that's really helped Henderson improve almost 20% improvement at the line this season. Made the first one, second one up. That one, nothing but net. 60-55, to two clutch free throws for Lucas Henderson. That's why they call him Cash. Pittman on the left side, guarded by Sprinkles. Left around the screen or right around the screen, now kicks left. To Anderson. Anderson jabbing. Now he'll drive towards the baseline. Gathers. Spins around at the left block. Throws up a shot with the left hand. No good. Robinson can't corral the board. Out of bounds. It stays with Shawnee. They'll get it back with 20 on the shot clock. Underneath their own basket, it'll be Washington on the trigger, but we'll wait for that until after the timeout. Shawnee wanted it. Wabash Valley, five point lead, 60 to 55. Two minutes, 36 seconds left here in regulation. Can they put it away? We'll find out. We'll be back here in one minute. Chris has it in Carbondale at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC. Chris has more savings and Chris has more selection, like a new Buick Envision for only $199 a month. And a new 2024 GMC Terrain is only $199 a month. Or upgrade and think not just any truck, the truck, the GMC Sierra. Chris has it for only $39,999. Or choose 0.9% and no payments for 90 days at Chris Offenberg Buick GMC in Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Thank you. Zach Reynolds back here with you on 89. One of the bash you're listening to Warriors basketball. They lead 60 to 55 over Shawnee Saints with two minutes, 36 seconds left here in the second half of the quarterfinal matchup in the Region 24 tournament. Trying to move on to the semifinals against Southwestern Illinois College tomorrow here at Wren Lake. Wabash Valley with a five point lead. Shawnee though with the basketball. Anderson on the trigger will get it to Thomas in the left corner. Thomas working against Taylor. Takes one dribble and passed it off the foot of Taylor. It'll be a kickball violation. So it'll stay with Shawnee. Resets the shot clock a few seconds up to 20. And Anderson on the trigger from that same spot and passes it right back into Thomas again. Thomas trying to drive baseline. Spins at the block and throws up a shot and a foul on Taylor. He was shuffling his feet a little bit. Might have been a jump ball, but instead he got Taylor in the air for the foul. That'll be Kaleem Taylor's third. 
had two in the first half. He didn't have one for a long time, but picks up his third here with a couple of minutes left here in the second half. So a lot of free throws in the last couple of minutes for Shawnee is really keeping him in it. It's Thomas at the free throw line this time. Hasn't scored yet today. And still hasn't as he missed the first free throw. Hit the left of the, left of the rim and then rolled off right. About a 70% free throw shooter on the season. Missed the first one there. Scores 8.4 a game, but just hasn't been asked to do any scoring yet today. Thomas gets it back for his second free throw. Takes two dribbles, spins the ball around in his hands, and fires up the second free throw shot. He missed them both. Rebound for Sprinkles. That's huge for Wabash Valley to get two misses there. Henderson now with it. A press set up even with a, a missed shot. Henderson gets it up, though, to Robinson on the right wing. Ball knocked away. Thomas steals it. Passes it off to Anderson. who gets it right back to Thomas. A turnover. Thomas across the timeline. At the top of the key, kicks back. Pittman, extra pass back to Thomas. He'll drive, spins around just outside the block. Throws up a hook shot, or rather a floater, and it's in and out. Rebound to Sprinkles. Taylor now up to Robinson, almost taken away by Pittman, and Robinson able to corral it. Robinson back to Taylor over the logo. Clock on Wabash Valley side. A minute 45 left, a five-point lead for the Warriors. Can they put it away? they got to keep the basketball, take care of the basketball to do that. Taylor. With town on the clock, drives, spins around, lost the ball, got it back, and he's fouled. Could have been a turnover, but Taylor able to get the ball back before it caused any issues, and then he got fouled that time by Keyshawn Washington. So Sprinkles will inbound from in front of his own bench on the sideline. Looking for help, throws this one up to Razor Moore, and he got tapped away, a turnover. Careless turnover there. Keyshawn Washington rejected by Robinson for the three-point try. Robinson knocked it out of the sky. Sprinkles up to Taylor. He's across the timeline. He'll slow it down. And here comes a foul. He gets knocked hard into his own bench, but he's picked up by the two guys that picked him up. Good sportsmanship there. and It was no ill intent. So Taylor got fouled there. We're going to call that one on Trayvon Thomas. Still a five-point lead, 60-55 to 55 for Wabash Valley. Minute 18 left in regulation. They've still got the ball here, 22 on the shot clock. Henderson, Taylor, Robinson, Razor Warren, Sprinkles in the game. Brentner and Lincoln Lockhart check in for Shawnee. Lincoln Lockhart's first action of this game. Robinson swings left side to Henderson, up high on the left side. Guarded by Lockhart. Now Henderson cuts in towards the free throw line, throws up. A lob off the backboard for Razor Moore, but gets it back. Hands out to Robinson. Seven on the shot clock. Robinson on the right wing. Cuts in the paint. Kicks. Henderson sidesteps. Three from the right corner. Cash money. They call him Cash Henderson for a reason. He's got five three-pointers tonight. And 19 total. Lincoln Lockhart a three from the right corner. No good. Couldn't answer. Rebound to Colleen Taylor. Anderson showing pressure, and now he'll foul. Cash Henderson with a potential dagger of a three just moments ago makes it 63-55. to 55. We're under a minute, 48.9 seconds left. And Kaleem Taylor going to the line for the bonus. Lucas Henderson with 19 points, including 15 from the three-point line, five three-pointers tonight. Kaleem Taylor, good free throw shooter. Over 80% on the season. First one up. He made it. Earns the second. Taylor back of the line. If he makes this one, it'd be a 10-point lead. And he doesn't. Hit short off the front of the rim. Quickly the other way. Washington with it. Kicks to the right corner. Pittman takes a dribble. Now he'll throw up a three. He hit it. Nothing but net. Fading away. Pittman making it interesting. Now they'll show full court pressure, 41 seconds. Wabash Valley has to avoid turnovers. Sprinkles gets the inbound across the timeline quickly. He's fouled by Pittman. Beat the press at that time. Nobody picked up Sprinkles. Miscommunication from Shawnee. So Adrian Sprinkles, an 80.8% free throw shooter in his own right, to the line now. If Wabash Valley can avoid turnovers and hit these free throws... Then they will seal the deal and head to the semifinals tomorrow. They've got 
a 64-57 lead right now with 39 seconds left. Sprinkles at the line, has to hit the first, and he does. Earns his second here. Sprinkles having a great game as well. He's now got 19. Long look. Now he'll throw up his second free throw. He hit it. He's got 20 points, and it's a 66-57 lead. Pittman quickly the other way. Pulls up for a long three. Top of the key off right. Rebound in the hands of Anderson. Offensive kicks to Thomas on the right wing. He'll pass back. Knocked out of bounds by Sprinkles. A lot of time off the clock there. 28.8 seconds left. Raymond Ezeke, the big man, going to check in for Lucas Anderson. Ezeke with four fouls, but the 6'8 frame going to be in there for rebounds, trying to avoid the offensive boards given up. Shawnee wants a timeout to talk things over. They got a hill to climb. Almash Valley leads 66 to 57 with 28.8 seconds left. They've got to try to finish this one off and head to the semifinals. Come back for an electric finish in one minute. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese bread sticks. Uh, Monday through Friday, we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Raymond Aziki, Brandon Razor Moore, Kaleem Taylor, Adrian Sprinkles, and Daniel Rollins in the five on the floor for Wabash Valley. 16 on the shot clock. Shawnee with the basketball. Down by nine. Pittman, long three. Aziki right there. He airballed it. Washington gets the rebound, saves it inbounds, into the hands of Sprinkles. One on one with Pittman. Lays up the lob. And Aziki couldn't finish it, but he got fouled. So Aziki to the line got fouled by Pittman. That's his fourth, 18.9 seconds left. And a nine-point lead for Wabash Valley, trying to add to it to really put this one away. Raymond Aziki at the line, missed the first free throw. 59% free throw shooter on the season, hasn't taken a ton of them. Shot clock off with 18.9 seconds left. Second free throw up. That one strong off the back iron. Rebound for Anderson. Quickly the other way. Pittman bounce pass off to Keyshawn Washington. He's rejected by Ezeke. And it's wedged up in the rim, which counts as a tie-up. And the possession arrow stays with Shawnee. Ezeke with a nice rejection there, though. Now he'll go to the bench. Lucas Henderson will check in. 11.9 seconds left. Washington on the inbound, finds Pittman in the corner. He passes off to Bell. He'll take a long two off the front of the rim. Robinson, the board. Wabash Valley moving on in the Region 24 tournament. They close this one out with some clutch shooting and clutch defense. Henderson with 19, Sprinkles with 20. They win 66-57. to And now they're one game away from moving on the championship. They'll face off in the semifinal tomorrow night, or not tomorrow night, excuse me, Wednesday night against Southwestern Illinois College. That'll be Wednesday night. We'll have that for you on 89-1, the bash as well. Wabash Valley season not done yet. They knock off the three-seed Shawnee as the underdog. They win 66-57 to on the bash.